Hold on, that's irritating. Hold on, my sister. <laughs> hello, guys. Hello, hello. I got y'all. Hold on. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll cut that out. <laughs> hello, 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 everyone. Happy Friday. It is actually Friday and it's lunchtime for me. So I guess I'll, I'll figure I'll get on here with you guys and give you a little scoopy be loopy. But also I have today. Let me give you guys this. <laughs> Churches. I got churches chicken here. Well, this is the coleslaw, obviously. Okay. Chicken, mashed potatoes, and some corn nuggets right there. Nothing, nothing quite big. Because uh, I didn't put no biscuits with it because, like I said, I'm not on um, eating the biscuits today. So that's all I have so far today. And then I'm going to try these out. And guess what these are? Frozen grapes. I just took them out of the freezer. So I'm going to try some of these. And I don't know, it's gonna be my first time trying them. So how was everybody's day? I hope it was good because we're in the middle of Friday, but we've made it to the whole week with doing what we needed to do. I hope we strive a little bit better, a little bit for and a little bit more than what we achieved from last week, which I think I have. Personally, I have. So, and I did put a little bit of chives on here. You know, I just wanted to look, I wanted it to look cute. And also, I told you guys, if you guys um look at my video from Thursday, I was told you I was going to be looking at different areas in my room where I'm going to be recording at. And yes, it's the, it's the computer area. Let me give you guys a little um tour right quick before we start eating here. But yeah, here we go. We got a printer right here. Down there, I have my photo printer. So I do got a photo printer. I got my regular computer right here and it's working. I just have to... um set up the wi-fi again and everything like keyboard i got this little music thing right here i got my headset yes yeah, so like your girl gonna be working from home customer service and doing all the other stuff i got my little notepads just in case i need to take some notes um and this is for the camera i'm gonna start using the camera soon too so i have a, a couple of these memory cards and since that the computer is back working, I'm going to start using the camera and transferring everything over there. So the quality of my videos, you guys will see, it will be changing. And um, it's nothing else pretty much over here. But um, this right here, one of my um, kids gave me this. This is Jeremiah, my oldest son. He said, boo, he, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Got my words mixed up. So um, be who you are. Do what you love. Go where your heart leads you. And I believe this in... Later in this video, I will tell you guys exactly how this actually inspired me. And I believe it. It, it. it goes where your heart leads. It does. And I'm going to show you guys later on in this video, like I said. Um, I got Alexa over here, too. Hi, Alexa. She ain't talking, y'all know. Give her a sec. I'm supposed to say her name first. Alexa. Hello. Hello. Happy breadstick day. Happy breadstick day. Oh, guys, it's supposed to be breadstick day, I guess. Um, Alexa, what is the temperature outside? Right now, it's 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 62 degrees. Mm -hmm. And that's here in Atlanta. 64 degrees outside it is gloomy. The light, the light in here is kind of mediocre, so just in case you were wondering. And I got some good old water over here if you guys are wondering. Them corn nuggets be hitting, boy. See them corn nuggets? Oh. So welcome to the computer area. I might be changing some other things, like I said, because the sun comes from this way, the light comes from this way. But I just don't want to be seeing this part in the back. Okay, almost died. Plus, I had to get my napkins together. <clears throat> the corn went down the wrong pipe, some some sort. Well, yeah, these are the corn nuggets. If you guys ever tried the corn nuggets from churches, oh good. Real good. And got some mashed potato, a little bit of gravy. 
Mm. Mm. What you guys got planned for this weekend is Halloween. And here in Atlanta, it's going to be raining for the whole weekend. So whoever got plans, I don't know if you want to go out. Because it will be raining the whole weekend. Just to let you know a little waking now, okay? And yeah, I'll put some hot sauce on this thing. Let me show you the hot sauce. Y'all see the hot sauce? Woo, woo. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. This hot sauce is hot though. I ain't even tried to do a thumbnail or nothing, some no sort, but here you go. Okay. Thumbnail. Hopefully you catch it. Mm mm mm. This thing good. It was piping hot. It's still hot, but it ain't piping hot like it was a minute ago. Mm. Like I said, this thing hot. <clears throat> Well, you guys tell me if this is a good area and if you like this area for recording from now on. But I really don't like eating in my room like this. So. It is downstairs. So. Okay, touch the season to be jolly. You guys really have to listen to how Naya does her prayer, her uh, grace before she eats. She got a long prayer that she has before she eats at school. And she recited it yesterday, last night when she was eating dinner. Oh yes. I just wanted to eat a little bit of something, you know. Before I have to go start getting everybody from school and stuff like that. Um uh, gotta get everybody from school, gotta run an errand for somebody. I'm going to tell you guys what I was doing this morning. That comes into play to that quote that's on my little, and that's an owl on my little glass sculpture. Mm-hmm. I ain't even sharing the chicken with y'all. Hold on. Y'all want the fat or y'all want the actual meat? Which one you want? Meat. Oh, let's get that. Okay. I got you some meat. Hold on. Let me slide that fat off for you right quick. But we don't need all that fat. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to dip that thing in some hot sauce for you. All right. Now, there you go. Oh, uh, you see that? I, all right. Oh, okay. I ain't want you to bite my damn hand off. I know it's good. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, y'all like, she eating a thigh? Yeah, I'm eating a thigh. I got legs and thighs last night. Or, yeah, today, basically. Then Maya had some football practice yesterday. His um team had brought some chicken. I brought my own chicken, though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gloomy outside. That's why I keep looking up out the window. It's just so gloomy today. I'm like, what? So gloomy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm all up there. And it's coleslaw over here, too. I'm wondering. Coleslaw. My favorite coleslaw is from KFC, though. Church's coleslaw is all right. to mix their mashed potatoes with their coleslaw. I've seen that before for somebody. I don't see how. But it do all go down the same way. So. It is what it is. And I'm not, never a fan of that macaroni and cheese, so. I don't ever buy macaroni and cheese from churches. No KFC, but I tried the KFC one. It was all right, but would I buy it on a regular? No, I would not. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like. I like it nice and creamy, not runny. Mm -mm. I'm playing runny. Mm. Like I'm eating a bowl of cereal. <laughs> Get into this. So the sun that I think about to come out a little bit. Wipe my hair. Oh, okay. Y'all stand it stuff so much. But yes. Today it wasn't busy though, but you know, let me take that back. I had to come back home like twice almost, but Nah, last night, that was a different story now, honey. I came at inside of the house like four times because I left 
either my phone, the charger for the phone, all types of stuff. I'm like, what in the world is going on today? Mm, ridiculous. So, okay. I know you guys wondering, what is this that she got? If you are paying attention, you know. But yeah, today I had um at 10 o'clock, I had a 10 o'clock appointment where I had to go to a health screening. So, as you guys, if you have followed my journey from Minnesota, well, I, I didn't post videos in Florida, but I posted videos from Minnesota. So, if you notice my videos and stuff from Minnesota where I used to be trying, well, not used to be, where I was trying to get into the hospital here in Emory and um, here in Atlanta. I've been, um, I used to apply. I applied actually before I left Florida in 2004. 15. So when I left 2015 from Florida, I applied to Emory twice. I never got a response because I was going to come here first, but then I would figure I was like, no, I'm not going to come. I'm going to just pass Georgia on purpose because too many people are still coming. So that's why I did not pick Georgia first. But I went to Minnesota, which was great. Three years. What can you say? So I applied again before I left Minnesota. Didn't get a reply. So this is like now four years and a half. So I applied um two and a half weeks ago, I think, three weeks ago. And guess what? Man? <laughs> Your sister is what? Working at Emory starting when? November 4th. <laughs> what can I say? So I picked up my paperwork today. This is an play resources guide. I start my training and everything on the fourth. I went and did all my little blood screening, drug screening, all that little, you know, tobacco stuff. Comes with this beautiful package, you know, all that good stuff inside here. I know I'm going to get some more. But this is just a little bit of stuff you start with notes and stuff when you start orientation. So that's what I was doing. And then guess what? God is so good, I say. And that's why I say I go back to this. Be who you are, do what you love, go where your heart leads you. So my heart was leading me to go there. And I was like, okay, you know, let me try this out because I always wanted to work at the hospital. So I'm going to start working at the hospital in Emory here in Georgia. So, hey, girl, going to be on the floor like, ah. This is such a such. I'm getting my badge and everything on the fourth too. So. <laughs> and then guess what? Like I, I was supposed to go back. I got another interview at another place and they called me back today again. Well, they called me back today for the second time because I'm still trying to um actually um need to marinate to the pricing that they're they've given me. And it's like, should I go with them or should I not? Because every the money, what I was looking for is the money they, they already was already giving me. So now this other place. It's about like a couple of dollars off, but I'm seeing, um, I don't know if I want to twerk both of them, you know. I might do both because the hours would be 10 to 6 over them, but I do my 12 hours still at Emory. So I'm like, I don't know, I might. It, 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 it all depends, but I'm trying to still trying to figure it out. I thought I was give her an actual answer by the end of the day or even, yeah, it's going to be by the end of the day because today Friday. So by the end of the day, I will give her an answer to whether or not I'm going to accept the proposal of the pricing that they are actually going to give me. And plus, I, they don't have a differential of the night since I'm going to be going over tonight. They don't have a differential. So it's like. I'm just getting that set pay, but she said within three months they evaluate you again, and then they will be um giving you either a raise of some sort. So it's like a, a coin toss basically, whether they're gonna give me a raise in the next ninety days or they're not. But I'm like, uh, I don't know. So I'm like, I get my answer by the day before five o'clock, definitely, or before three o'clock, really. So that's what I have here planned, guys. So your girl gonna be working at the hospital, going back to the nursing thug, Dizzle with Lizzle. I won't be driving because the driving thing is really tiresome. I be so sleepy all the time. And then that's sitting is it's getting a wear and tear on my leg. So um about a week ago, my legs started to get stiff. So I'm like, you know the stiffness starts. And your legs start uh, cramping. I'm like, I haven't been working out, but then again, I did work. When, I did work out when we went to the parade. I was walking, but that need that should not have, you know, gave me this amount of pain. So you know, 
that's another sign that you might be getting blood clogs in your um veins or whatnot because you're not moving around circulation especially when you're driving you just sitting there but i'm actually stretching my legs while i'm driving at a stoplight i stretch you know i go to the gas station i get out stretch you know um couple of little things if i'm at a person's house or sometimes i you know put my car in park and i stretch my legs out under the thing but like they say that's not enough but i'm like well you know, I have to do change up some things because uh, the pain was very excruciating. It was just like ridiculous. Why is it hurting? You know, all on the back of my calves. So I didn't want no, I didn't want to start experiencing no blood clots in my legs. So I'm like, let me try a different alternative and do some other stuff. So that's what I'm doing. That's what's new so far. <laughs> Um, I know I say I'll tell you guys on Sunday, but Sunday will be something totally different, a different content video. But I want to share that guys with you guys this Friday because like someone told me, I will, um this came from actually um a bodyguard or whatnot. It was Cardi B, DC Young Fly, bodyguard, you know, he told me, which I already what it embedded, it's like it 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 actually oh but yeah, the, they say it depends it applies on how you apply yourself. In order to advertise yourself, you have to do work. You have to put in the footwork. You have to do a whole bunch of stuff here in order to get yourself out there. You want you want the stuff to come, but you have to put your your face, your brand, yourself out there to advertise, network, and all whole bunch of stuff. And like they say, if it's your season, your season will come and it will bring you more, more abundance than you will ever imagine. It's like, come on now. You guys, if you don't believe now, nah, you got to believe. I believe I'm here in Georgia. Look, I don't went from Florida, Minnesota to Georgia. Look, come on, it can happen. And it's just like it, like like they say, it's like people that always say, Oh, I can't do this and this and that. That's such crutch you always gonna hold on to because you know you always got this but 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 because of this and this. If it's not nothing major, health issues, all that other good stuff, like I understand with people who have kids and stuff. I have kids, you know, and I move my kids and they actually adapt. And like they say, a lot of kids don't adapt easy to different environments and different places, which I get. But hey, you will never know until you try. And that's one of the things that the bodyguard was saying. He said, you'll never know until you try. You got to put yourself out there. Put Make yourself name, your name out there so people can know who you are, what you want to do in life. And like, you want your dreams to come true. You have to put in the footwork. You have to do the leg work. And it's just, you have to do hard work in order to get forward. How do you think half of these millionaires and stuff get to where they are? Or people with rappers and stuff. They had to put work into things to actually get where they're at to this day. So it's like, from if you don't even grasp anything, always put your foot forward always put your foot first like come on man like you want better in your life you gotta do better you want to see better you gotta do better and you got to get up off your tail and stop procrastinating you know what i'm saying so do what you gotta do do your thug dizzle and this weekend you guys don't do too much twerking okay okay <laughs> Sunday, I'm thinking about going to this sip and um, paint. It's from 2 to 6 here in Georgia, around the corner from my house. It's sip and paint or sip and museum. It's one of the two. But I know when I seen free, sip and then it said 2 to 6. I was like, I might just go. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that with you guys because a lot of people are like, how do you do it? And my mindset, I'm here for a reason. And the reason I put my name as unique because I have unique ideas. I'm unique. I stand out from out of the crowd from others because of the things that I can do. The things I strive for. The things I love to do and show my kids. Because guess what? I'm only one, one, B, one. Nobody else. You can't replicate this, baby. It's only me. It's only me. You know? So it's like... If it's just only me, let hey, let me be who I want to be, you know? Be great. Be everything that I want to be. Unique in every way. Because like it's the lady said, how you stand out from all that? Because I, I, I work hard. I go over and beyond because that's what I do from my heart. Because I know if the next person will do the same thing, it will make all of our lives and all of our jobs a whole lot easy. That's all it really is. It's like, mm, what can you say? Mm. 
trolling grape. Mm. They so good. Mmm. Frozen grapes. Girl. Look at that. I know this ain't come from the crack house. This came straight from my freezer. But you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy it. And if you guys need a ride, call an Uber or Lyft. Don't try and get behind that wheel. You can't do it. Your mind might say it. But girlfriend, boyfriend, don't do it. End up in bigger trouble than what you already in. And you guys, I will see you guys on the next video. See you guys on Sunday, hopefully. Now, if I don't see y'all Sunday, I'll see y'all Monday. I came home to carnival for all this stuff, okay? <laughs> y'all enjoy. Because I definitely am. Frozen great. Frozen great. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next video make sure you guys share like and um also comment down below all your ideas of what you would like to see for the next video and also if you guys like this video and you like this scenery please reply or you want me to change it up or something else you know i'm gonna still put my background back but i'm gonna twerk some other things in in this area and stuff so i'll see you guys later it's been a pleasure and it is what it is. Why don't you just get in there? Get in there. You got to get in there in order to what? Shine. <laughs> Bye, y'all.